Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the next session. Good morning, Preeti. Welcome back to my uh, second, no, third live session of the season 21. Uh, this is Manoj, your German coach. So today I am going to conduct the complete A1 level course in just 12 hours. The uh, major aspects of the chapters are going to be covered in the session. Okay, it is going to be good revision for those who have already learned German and preparing for the exam. It's going to be uh, a quick learning for those who, are, who want to step into the language and want to learn for the first time. And it is definitely going to be a good uh, you know, opportunity for those who wants to revise things again in case they have learned a few years back and want to do it again. All right, so before I start, I'll just take you to the screens which you are going to observe during the session so that you do not get confused. So we, I have three screens installed here. One you see on the back, which is uh, the course book, which I will be taking you through. I'll be writing each and everything in the book. Okay. Second screen, which you see at the left bottom, is the camera to the screen where you can see me uh, conducting session, uh, session live. And the third screen, in case I need to do that, just in case I, I would need that, is going to be this one. Excel like last time. Okay, this is going to be when I want to explain some grammar topic uh, for anything, we'll use that. So as of now, this is the only thing which you are going to see. So you may, of course, write down your questions and uh, your doubts in the chat box. I will definitely be able to answer your queries as early as possible. Okay, so let's start with the first session of uh, A1 level. So, here we start. So, this is our first chapter which we have, which we have of our book. The book we are using, it's which is used in A1 level, it's Netzwerk. Okay. Please confirm two things by saying yes. If the screen is completely visible, text is readable, and my voice is clear. Write down yes if all these things, these three things are correct. If the screen is visible, text is readable, whatever I am writing on the board, and the voice is clear. Very quickly, just write yes in the chat box. Okay, thank you, Preeti, for acknowledging. If Preeti says, that means everyone else can also. Okay, this is the book, and this is the first chapter. This is my first chapter. Okay which is Gutentag. In this chapter, what are the things we are going to learn? Very quickly, I'll, I'll just cover the most important factors here. Grüßen und Verabschieden, which is greetings and see offs. This is the first thing. Sich und andere vorstellen, it's to introduce yourself and others. Über sich und andere sprechen, to speak about yourself and about others. Zahlen bis 20, telephone number und email adresse sagen. Number still 20, telephone number, and we'll see, to, uh, uh, we'll see the how to express or how to give our email addresses. Buchstabieren, which is to spell, very important part. Okay, über Länder und Sprachen sprechen, we are going to learn about countries. Länder means countries. That is the plural form. Sprachen is the plural form of languages. Okay, in grammar, in grammar, we are going to talk about W Frage, W question. So these are the things which we are going to learn in this chapter. In the grammar, we are going to work on, we are going to learn W Frage. W Frage means all the question words with which starts from W. We call it W questions. Okay, in English we have questions with um, W and H. Here we only have with W. Aus, sage, that's your statement sentences, verb und personal pronomen, verbs and personal pronouns. That's what we are going to talk about in this chapter. You may please ask any question during any um, um, at any point of time in case you have. Let me quickly take a screenshot. 
So the first thing first we have is Grüßen und Verabschieden. We are going to learn the greetings. And see offs. So, how do we say good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, good night? It's going to be a long day for you. Okay, for me, it's going to be an easy day till the time you are making it easy for me and asking me as many questions as possible and trying to engage me. Okay, so good morning. We say Guten Morgen. Good afternoon. We say Guten Nachmittag. However, we do not use this greeting more often. Guten Nachmittag. Good day is Guten Tag. That is what Germans generally use. Good evening is Guten Abend. And good night is Gute Nacht. We need to make sure that only in good night we have this E. Rest everywhere we have EN because all these four nouns belong to masculine, which we are going to learn later on. Right? So very important from 6 a.m. I should say from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. German use Guten Morgen. 10 to 12 is the time when they use Guten. <coughs> uh, that's not they don't wish. I should say it is the time of four mithag, pre noon. But there's no wish. 12 to 2 is the time of Mithag, two to I say four is the time of Nak Mithag, and four to ten it's Abend, ten o'clock onwards it is Nacht. These are the Zeit uh, Angaben, or say time frames which generally Germans use. So during the daytime, I should say from ten to twelve, they say. Guten 10 to 4, they say Guten Tag throughout the day. So that wish Germans generally use throughout the day. Guten Tag. Okay. Right. The next thing we have is the sea offs. What are the sea offs? What are the sea offs? They say tschüss, very basic one. We have more. They say tschüss, which is used to express bye, and this is my casual one. That is not the official bye. The friends, acquaintance, okay, they use tschüss. And we have another one, auf wieder sehen, which is also ideally bye, but that is my formal. That's not casual one. Officials use generally, right? New people, when they meet each other, they say bye. Or you can say it also mean see you, see you again. And how you can pronounce it, there's breaking auf, we, der, ze, yen. Five breakings, five sounds. We'll learn the syllables in the coming sessions. See offs. Very basic greetings which Germans use. Hallo. Hello, which is again hello. This is very common. They also use hi, a very common one, a casual one. Germans also use servus, servus, that is to express hello. They also use moin, moin. That's another north side of Germany in Hamburg. People use moin, moin. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Grüß dich. These are few of the hellos which Germans use. Zervus is used to express by as well and hi as well. Okay. We move to the next part. So I'll keep moving on the next part because uh, of the time limit. 
sich und andere vorstellen. To introduce yourself and others. Sich vorstellen und andere vorstellen. So. Hallo, ich heiße Stefan. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich wohne in Berlin. Ich bin Arzt von Beruf. These are the, or you can also add one more line. Ich spreche Englisch und Deutsch. These are five basic introductory sentences which you should you can use while introducing yourself to others uh, i am stefan i am coming from germany or i come from germany i live in berlin i am doctor by profession artist doctor i speak english on i english and german now how do we ask this question to others if i am introducing myself to someone how will i ask what's your name what's his name what is where he comes from where he lives no? so ich heiße stefan wie heißen Sie oder wie heißt du? It's wie heißen Sie oder wie heißt du? That is my formal, that's my informal. So I'll just write formal way of asking or informal way of asking question. I'm saying I come from Germany. Where do you come from? So you can ask, woher kommen Sie? Or woher kommst du? Ich wohne in Berlin. Wo wohnen Sie? Wo wohnst du ich bin arzt von beruf you can say was sind sie von beruf was bist du von beruf right these are few questions which you can learn you can have definitely recap this session anytime you wish to ich spreche englisch und deutsch welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Oder welche Sprachen sprichst du? What you need to pay attention here is this part. So if you see, I am writing this S capital everywhere this one because this is referring to my formal you z is referring to formal you which ideally refers to aap in hindi and do is my informally which we are going to learn in the next section which is personal pronoun all right so these are five introductory sentences and these are the questions which you can ask to someone let us have a look at this particular exercise when people and people are saying hello to each other and they're greeting and introducing others You see, the first one. Hello, Nina. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ich heiße Gregor. Okay. Wie heißt du? These are the questions which you generally ask when you meet someone. Okay. Ich heiße. Hello, Gregor. These are the terms. If you look at the formal way, or you say, choose, choose, Julia, choose. If I look at the formal way of introducing or greeting someone, 
Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, ich heiße Hansen. Guten Tag, guten Tag. Okay, guten Tag. Mhm. Wie heißen Sie? Basic Terms. We can also say, wie ist Ihr Name? What's your name? And the answer would be, mein Name ist, ist Wilhelm. Mein Name. So it's mine. In English, we pronounce it like, this is mine. Same pronunciation. Same pronunciation, but the way of writing is different. Mein Name ist Weber. Mein Name. All right. We move to next part of the topic. And please drop me an email at Manoj dot Bhateja at lingogurugerman.com in case you need the soft copy of this document. Everything is going to be provided. Just do write me. The next topic we are going to learn is how do we ask, asking, how are you? How do we ask? After this one, we'll watch a, sh a short clip, but first we do that. So let me say we have two ways, formal and informal way. Formal. We get as Enan. You can ask, we get as dear or we gates. Two possibilities. In informal, you can simply ask, we gates or we get as dear, but the formal is going to be, we get as Enan. And how do we respond? S geht mir gut schlecht nicht gut furchtbar another expression so so hmm? or you can ask you can reply mir geht es gut nicht Gut, schlecht, nicht schlecht, and so on. We learn these expressions. We learn these expressions. Okay. How are you? Or the ideal translation of this sentence is going to be, how is it going with you? In Hindi, we ask, or we kaisa chal rahe? That is how we ask. We get us inan. Escape me a good. Good. Bad, not good, horrible, just going on, so-so. Good, not good, bad, not bad. We have more expressions to talk about it. Okay, We get us in. So very quickly, can you please write down in the chat box, how are you? Any expression you can note down. Any expression you can mention. Just write down the expression, how are you? We get us in. Me get us good. Thank you, Preeti. Mir geht es gut, mir geht es schlecht, mir geht es nicht gut, mir geht es nicht schlecht, and so on and so forth. Thank you. The next thing we are going to see now in this one, if, I, if we uh, pay attention to this part, how are they responding? We geht es ihnen. We geht es ihnen. She's saying, danke, good. The first thing first you need to say is, danke, that is required. Or you can say, es geht mir gut, danke. If somebody is formal to you, you will write, und ihnen. If somebody is informal, you will write, und dir. We get as Inan, Danke, gut, 
und ihnen because the person was formal to you so you are informal uh, formal to him okay thank the very same question if we look at the above conversation we gets we gets we gets that's a casual way thank good same but only difference is dear thank good und dear right so thank sehr gut auch gut this is what now let's try to understand how do i inform or introduce my friend or anyone who is third person let us suppose we have this guy i have a person um let's say sachin i'm introducing sachin er ist sachin er kommt aus indien er wohnt in frankfurt er ist pilot von beruf er spricht englisch und deutsch so the only important thing we need to know is ich bin du bist er sie ist i am you are he is she is or ich heiße du heißt er sie heißt ich komme du kommst er sie kommt ich wohne du wohnst er sie wohnt ich spreche du spricht er sie spricht so with ich we only use this form of the verb and if we pay attention to this one the ending i am using is e with every word in do we have st st in rgs we don't have anything just t we are going to learn when we do the verb conjugation but as of now we just need to prepare practice these verb ich bin manoj du bist stefan er ist sachin ich heiße manoj du heißt stefan er heißt sachin ich komme aus indien du kommst aus deutschland er kommt aus indien ich wohne in neu delhi du wohnst in bangalore er wohnt in frankfurt ich spreche englisch und deutsch du sprichst spanisch und deutsch er spricht spanisch deutsch und französisch and so on so forth so if we look at selina's profile what do we get here we have to introduce selina this is selina's description if i want to extract important important information here this is my first name we call it forname this is my nakname so she is selina lang z heist selina lang and she comes from do we have any idea she lives in frankfurt she is a tourist guide okay all right so z kommt aus frankfurt oh deutschland sorry she comes from she kommt aus deutschland z wohnt in 
Frankfurt. And what is she by profession? So how do we write? Z is Reise Führerin von Beruf. And she speaks three languages. Z spricht Deutsch, Spanish and English. Okay, these are the basic information which we extract from this particular one. Okay, let's see. We have three questions here. Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? That's I am asking Frau Lang. Woher kommen Sie? And the important thing is, I am using the formal way. Whenever you see this S capital written anywhere in a sentence, it is referring to formal you. Formal you. Always. We are going to learn. When we do the personal pronoun. Where common Sie, Frau Lang? Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Und wo wohnen Sie? So Frau Lang will reply, Ich komme aus. What answers do we have? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Englisch, Spanisch und Deutsch. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Now let's see this guy. We heist do. Here I am informal to this guy. Here it was formal conversation. This one it is casual confirmation, a conversation. So we heist do. Ich heise Jan. Woher kommst du? Wo wohnst du? If you remember, we made a chart. We made a small list. Du kommst, du heist, du wohnst, du sprichst, du bist. ST, ST, ST. That's what, that's what we have to follow here. Right? We heist du, ich heise Jan. Woher kommst du? Aus Frankfurt. Wo wohnst du? In Zürich. Concept remains same, only the formal and informal. The formal U is expressed using Z and informal U is do. That is my formal U. In Hindi, we use it up. It is my informal or casual U. In Hindi, we use it to. Tu kahan se aaya hai? Main yahan se aaya hoon. Tu kahan rehta hai? Main yahan rehta hoon. Tera naam kya hai? Mera naam ghi hai. Alright. If we want to fill these verbs here in the blank with Z, what we write? Compt. And important information again, whenever, and, and, and I discussed this part in my last live session on 15th of August, you may refer to common and wonen always these prepositions will come so with common always aus with wonen always in and the question is always going to be wo here for common wo for wonen so z kommt jan oh no kommt sorry my bad jan kommt aus frankfurt aus Er won't. Because Jan and Mrs. Lang both are third person to me. Both are third person. Okay? That's why we use he, she. For third person, formal and informal does not make any sense. Okay. Before we start with the numbers, we have another thing. The first three verbs which we just saw here. Heisen, Sein, Wohnen, Kommen and Sprechen. Heisen is to be called as, to be called as, Sein is to be, Wohnen is to live or to stay, Kommen is to come and Sprechen is to speak. Ich, du, er. We'll talk about these personal pronouns later on. As of now, we just make a list for the future reference. So, ich heiße, du heist, er, sie, es heißt. We only learned in this one because we only know this one. Ich bin, du bist 
RGS ist. Ich wohne, du wohnst, RGS wohnt. Ich komme, du kommst, RGS kommt. Ich spreche, du sprichst, RGS spricht. We only take care of I, you and he, she, it. That's it. As of now. Okay. Any question you may write in the chat box whenever you wish to. Now let's talk about numbers here. Salen. Learning German numbers is one of the easiest part which I find. What I need to do, I just need to learn numbers till 12. Rest everything becomes easy. So, zero we call as null. And you can practice with me, right? I can't hear you, but you can definitely follow me. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, das ist Fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf. These are the numbers which we have to learn. So you can practice with me right now. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, 9, 10, 11, 12. Rest of the numbers is very easy. We just need to follow one rule. And that is... So, in English we write 13. That means unit digit come first. My unit digit is dry. This is my 10th digit. What is 10? Same. Fear. Same. Fünf, zehn. Sech, zehn. Sieb, zehn. Acht, zehn. Neun, zehn. Zwanzig. As of now, we just need to learn numbers till 1 to 20. So, very quickly, you can practice with me. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, elf, zwölf. Dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig. Zwanzig, neunzehn, achtzehn, siebzehn, sechzehn, fünfzehn, vierzehn, dreizehn, zwölf, elf, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Just keep practicing these numbers because sounds are very important. They are very, very important. Okay. Any question, you may please write in the chat box. In case you have, otherwise I will proceed further. Okay, the next part I am going to take you is alphabet. Here you are going to work on, we are going to work on two major parts, which is work on the sounds and um, <clears throat> phonetics. This will take around 15 minutes of time to cover these two topics. When I say sound, we will see when two consonants come together, what kind of sound is generated, when two vowels come together, what kind of sound is generated. That's what we are going to learn in these, in this section. Okay. Important for everyone, beginner, advanced learners, though they know everything, but still. So in German, 26 characters remain same as in English. We do not change the way of writing. The letters are written the same way, the way they are written in English. 
no change in the writing pattern the only thing which is change is the pronunciation so in english we say we call it a here we call it a i will write in hindi as well so that it's helpful for both the learners a this is b please make sure the yellow ones the one are the sounds you don't learn the spelling b say day a so this is my english a a f f g g h e e y now this is one character which will never be pronounced as j in german okay exception the word is from a different language for example jug it's an english word if i pronounce jug in german that's going to be jug job that's going to be j otherwise everywhere they they pronounce it j okay so it is j kha kha l l same sound in english m n o same is in english now this is p p q q r s i am just encircling this consonant because it has three sounds which are very important when we pronounce words s t t u u f now this uh, this is my another consonant which is f no way we are going to pronounce it as v except the word is a loan word okay we pronounce it f no matter whatever wherever it is coming f f so hindi we call it f this is my v v v x x now this is epsilon epsilon the sound is going to be here but when we spell a word and the we and we have to spell this y for example i have a name let's say mayer when i want to spell this name i'll spell m a epsilon a r okay it is going to be pronounced as y but when we spell it it's going to be m a epsilon a r that is mayer epsilon this one is set now <clears throat> beginners do this error very often the sound they pronounce is set which is not so let's say we have a word in hindi called wats or in, in english we write this way the actual sound which this character takes is this part we remove this one so it is set it is going to take time for you to practice these sounds set set so sane is not sane we do the numbers sane is sane very minor sound of t is there set now this is the character a we call it a umlaut we call it a umlaut and we pronounce it as a as in dad mad sad a a we call it o umlaut and it is pronounced a as in sure mature u as in u umlaut and we pronounce it u as in few new screw
Mostly beginners do this error too. They call it EO wrong. EU wrong. Funny faces they make. But idle pronunciation is E U. E E U. No EO. No EU. Wrong. E E U. This is called S set. S set. Which you can also write S. And sound is always going to be S as in miss, his, kiss. Sound is going to be this only. Right? Any question, you may please type in. The next section we are going to do is the sounds of different consonants and the phonetic. And we'll proceed further. Let's talk about sounds. We are going to learn major sounds of uh, vowels. A, 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 U, O, A, U, A. E O and C H S P F. These are the combination I G again very important I G. Important combinations. Okay. So this is we know it's a umlaut sound is very sad dad sad. Hmm? You call it a. For example, matchen. Matchen. This is au. Au. As in blau. AU is always going to be pronounced as au. Blau. Grau. OE, this is my O umlaut. Sound is E as in share. In German, we have schön. Schön. Beginners pronounce it as shion, shion. Funny faces, shion. U is u umlaut, as in hübsch, büsche. E u is going to be pronounced as oi, as in boy, or toy, oi. Okay, so I like we have our number nine, noin. Noin. <clears throat> we talk about ch. Very important. Ch has five sounds. Five sounds. The first sound ch take, or let me do this thing. Let me do it this way. CH has five sounds. First sound is sh. Second is also sh, but in two ways. Next we have is kh. Another we have is ch and x, like sh. Sh. Kh. Ch. And In what cases, in what cases ch is pronounced as sh whenever ch is after after vowel a e i e e i and all umlauts. Whenever ch is going to be after these vowel, sound is going to be sh. For example. For example, ish, mish, expression, sh, raishan or raish, erraishan, rishan. This this is very important for beginners because they are the one who struggle a lot in the beginning in the beginning level, and by the time they reach B1 and B2, they they are very much adapted to the wrong pronunciation and they are confused. So it's very important that you practice these things from the beginning. Whenever CH is occurring after these vowels, another way when CH is going to be pronounced as when CH is after S. Whenever ch is after s, it is going to be pronounced as sh. For example, schule, schade, 
Shada, sorry, hmm? Shai Dung, and Shai Dung. You can see the sound whenever CH is coming after S, it is going to be pronounced as Shai Dung. When this Kh, now CH is after remaining vowels, after vowels which are left, A, O, Au, example, and U, example, Laken, Laken, Zakhe, Lok, Buk, Bauk. Whenever CH is after these vowels, A, O, Au, and U, it is going to be pronounced as Kh and no exceptions are there. Now, when do we pronounce CS as CH? When there is T before S C H. Always CH sound. Example, Deutsch. Deutsch land. CH. CH. Sound forth. When is going, CH is going to be pronounced as X? When CH is, CH is before S. When S is before CH, sound is going to be Shula. When CH is before S, it is going to be X. Example, um, Dax. Zex. Zex. X. So these are the five important sounds of CH we have in German. Okay, let's talk about sound of S. Similarly, the way CH has five sounds, our S has three different sounds. And let's talk about sound of S now. My sound of S is going to be three. Either it's going to be z. Or is going to be sh, or is going to be s. Only three sounds of H. When is going to be z sound? When S is when S is before before any vowel. Example. Zagen, Zind, Zingen, Zoile, any vowel, be it A, E, O, X, Y, Z. Hmm? Okay. When CH is, I mean S is before any consonant, any consonant, it is going to be pronounced as sh, example, Sprache. Stehen, okay. Stand, Steigen, any consonant. S, when S is either in the middle of a word or last letter of the word. Example, ist, mist, house, klaus. Three sounds of EH. All right. You may please refer to this video or this section anytime you wish to going forward. The next is sound of PF. It is always going to be pronounced all together without any gap. It is not going to be puff. No. Pff. At the same time, these two sounds should occur. Pff. Pff. Example. File. People call it file. It's not file. It's file. File. IG is going to be sometimes pronounced as sh, like dry sish. Sometimes it's going to be pronounced as G. 
right? Dry Sikh. So you can pronounce as G, you can pronounce it as Sh. That's okay. No major difference. All right. Moving to the next section, which is my phonetics. Phonetics. Phonetics will help you to spell names correctly. So let's say how many vowels do we have? Uh, uh, characters. When do we need phonetics? When do we require? For example, my name is Corbinian or Meyer or anything. And somebody asked me to spell my name because he or she is not able to understand my name or our call. And there are different sounds or, or similar sounds which we are very confused. With. Sometimes somebody is saying S over call and we are mis misunderstanding it as F. Somebody is saying M and we are understanding it as N. So to avoid this confusion, we need phonetics. And what are German phonetics which you should use? A, V, Anton. B, V, Bertha. C, V, Cesar. D, V, Dora. A, V, Emil. F, V, Friedrich. G, V, Gustav. Ha, V, Heinrich, E, V, Ida, J, V, Jochen, K, V, Conrad, L, V, Ludwig, M, V, Martha, N, V, North Pole, or you can call it as uh, Nicole, Nicolaus, that's okay. O V Otto, Pe V Paula, Ku V Kual, R V Richard, S V Siegfried, T V Theodor, U V Udo, V V Wilhelm, X V Zilophon. This is my epsilon, epsilon Z. The Zeppelin, or you can call it side. When I pronounce uh, my name using the phonetics, it becomes very easy for the listener to understand what I am referring to, what I want to say without any confusion. So, for example, I say, Ich heize Manoch, M V Martha. A V Anton, N V North Pole, O V Otto, J V Julius. That is how you can spell your name using these phonetics. I am just going to see your comments. Or hi Mohit, thank you for joining in. Kaushki, good morning. I can see. 14 participants now, which is good. Hi, Rafikul. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Balaji, um, anyone who could join the session. Okay. You may please write down your question in the side chat box if you have, or else I'll proceed to the next. Now we have these numbers. We know everything. Okay. This is. We're not going to cover the audio part today. We are only going to cover the writing, reading, and the speaking part. So I'll help you by end of the day. You will be able to pronounce um, your detail. You'll be able to give your details to the examiner and your speaking exam. There are going to be tips and tricks to you know perform better during your exam. Now on this page, what do I see? We is era telephone number. This question, this era is my your, which is formal possessive pronoun, we are going to cover in the third chapter. V is era telephone number. What is your telephone number? And how do I say my telephone number is my The question is because telephone number comes under feminine category. Is 998 
9958 This is how we say that. Okay. Lesen Sie, woher kommen die Personen? Read, where do these people come from? Wo wohnen Sie? Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ergänzen Sie die Tabelle. Now, here see, where do these people come from? Where do they live? Which languages do they speak? Very important, I have this EN, but S is small and it's in the beginning. Whenever you have this Z, this Z and Z. We are going to do this in detail, but just for your understanding right now, we have this Z capital and the verb is having EN in the end. It is going to refer to you formal. We have the Z small, but EN in the end, it is going to refer to they. Z small, but T in the end, it is going to refer to she. S capital, EN, you. S small, EN, they. S capital, EN, you. S small, EN, they. It's very important. S is there and we have T, she. Three things to pay, take care of. Let's read these four texts and try to find out the meaning. Rose Lewis, Comte, and you may please uh, pay attention to the pronunciation in case you are learning for the first time or you are revising your A1. If there are A2, B1 or B2 experts in the session, you may please correct me as I am still learning. Thank you. Rose Lewis, Comte aus den USA. Sie wohnt in San Francisco. Sie spricht Englisch und Deutsch. Sie lernt Spanisch. Kommt, she comes from USA. She lives in San Francisco. She speaks English and German. She is learning Spanish. Boris Walder kommt aus Österreich. Boris Walder comes from Austria. Er wohnt in Salzburg. He lives in Salzburg. He speaks, he speaks Deutsch und Englisch. Er spricht Deutsch und Englisch. Er lernt Arabisch. He is learning Arabic. Khateb Brahim kommt aus Algerien. He comes from Algeria. Er wohnt in Genf. He lives in Genf. Er spricht Arabisch. Französisch und lernt Deutsch. He speaks Arabic, French and is learning German. Hong Yang kommt aus China. Hong Yang comes from China. Sie wohnt in Shanghai. She lives in Shanghai. Frau Hong spricht Chinesisch und Deutsch. Mrs. Hong speaks Chinese and German. Right, so we have these information. If I want to write down, her name is Lewis. Z heist Rose Lewis. Z kommt aus den USA. Z wohnt in San Francisco. Sie spricht English. That's she, he, she, he. Now we know how can we introduce ourselves in ish, do, and z or er. Okay. This is perhaps the last section for this chapter. Then we'll jump to the next chapter. I will keep on describing things because here we cannot interact as much as possible but you can definitely ask your question in case you want to hello anirban thank you for joining in mohit thank you so anirban this is a good chance to uh, revise everything from the scratch though we are on chapter number 10 but still basics are always going to be important here we see land land is country 
here we see sprache which means language land sprache land sprache land sprache the plural is going to be länder and sprachen deutschland deutsch deutsch is the sprache österreich which is austria österreich what language do people speak in österreich deutsch die schweiz which is switzerland in schweiz französisch italienisch retro romanisch und deutsch französisch is the language <coughs> country land frankreich großbritannien english italienisch people speak in italian in spanien people speak spanish polish in poland turkai turkish rusish where do people speak people speak in rusland in egyptian we have arabish japan japanish usa in the usa we have english anywhere else yeah and china people speak chinese so if we look at the pronunciation ch deutsch s c h s is there before c h sh english franco zish roma nish chine zish ru zish pol nish s c h always sh okay very important thank you now if i want to say in in uh in germany people speak people speak deutsch so how will i say let me go to the board in deutsch land spricht man deutsch or deutsch spricht man in deutschland österreich und schweiz so you can write any whichever way you are comfortable with in deutschland spricht man deutsch if my question is wo spricht man polnisch so you can write polnisch spricht man in polen hmm? this question can also be asked this way welche sprache spricht man in polen which language people speak in polen in polen spricht man so it will be this way now in polen spricht man polish that's how you can answer so this was all about the things which were supposed to do this is done this is done this is done this is done this done this done we are left with three grammar topics we frage aussage satz verben und personal pronomen which we are going to do now so we have 
ग्रामा ठीक द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट वी हैव वे फ्राग वे ओटर डब्ल्यू क्वेश्चन वर्ड सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन वर्ड विच वी हैव इन इंग्लिश वस वो वो हेयर वी वारूम वन वेयर वेन वेम वेल्ज वस वॉट वेयर फ्रॉम वेयर हाउ वाय वेन हु Who, whom, which we feel, how much? These are the possible question words which we would be requiring or using in A one level. Okay. Sentence formation. We will definitely uh, learn it going forward. But as of now, this is what which is required. Aus zage zat we say statement sentences which we have just made. Ish hai se manoch. So in this sentence, subject comes at first place. We have the verb and we have the information. So ish hai se manoch. Ish verb comma information is aus in the end. Ish verb vona. in delhi subject expression information okay that is how we create our basic sentences question words basic sentences the is going to be uh, the topic is going to be discussed in more detail in coming chapters as of now this basic understanding is required in the first chapter only okay now the next thing which is very important from the grammar perspective is personal pronoun personal pronoun our personal pronouns are divided into two part three parts we have first person we have second person we have third person these are again divided into two parts singular plural singular plural singular plural so first person singular is i we singular we again divide into two parts formal informal formal is also you this is also you plural is you all singular he she it plural they that's what they have in english in german this is ich i c h ich wir wir ich wir first person ich first person plural wir second person singular formal z second person singular informal do second person plural ear third person singular he er z s z okay that's what we have now the difference of z we have already discussed if z is in the middle of the sentence and it's in caps it has to mean you formal if z is in the middle of the sentence and the verb is ending in t it has to refer to she if the z is in the middle of the sentence and in small case and the verb is ending in en that's going to be that's going to be they that is the basic understanding so that was all about our first chapter if in case any question you may please ask or else i'll proceed with 
the next topic. Right. Let's proceed with the next topic. As I said, you may you may send me an email to the mail ID I just sh shared with everyone, in case you wish to have this PDF. Now, this this part of the chapter is very important. Here, in this part, in this section, quotes unclar. What you are going to do? You are going to see everything you have learnt in the chapter. It's a quick revision. It's a quick revision of everything you have learnt. Okay. Greetings, see offs to introduce yourself and others, to talk about yourself and others, okay, and to answer how are you, W questions, hmm? personal one, every single thing you're going to learn. Now, this is my chapter two.